Bayern, aber das schließt ja alles andere dann eben nicht aus. Dass du Through the incredibly vivid interactive storytelling techniques of the blacksmith, Penny relived this poor woman's tragic fate. Long ago, in history times, when robot moms were but science fiction, and nobody knew why soap was good or even what a germ was yet, Penny's new friend the blacksmith was the finest in all the world. One day, death came knocking with a very special request. Would she repair his scythe? which he'd bent while well, trying to get into a jar of old-timey preserves. A fascinating and dangerous series of mishaps, misunderstandings and witch accusations followed. But by the end, the blacksmith was finally able to repair Death's scythe, only to have one bad stroke of the hammer fracture it, sending a piece out the window, apparently lost forever. Death was furious with the poor blacksmith, and sealed her inside the prison, where she stayed for ages, until she was rescued by Penny. So now Penny knew where the blacksmith had come from. What she didn't know, and was about to find out, was where the blacksmith would take her. So, you screwed up, broke Death's scythe, and now he's super cheesed at you. But this doesn't tell me anything about whoever stole my body. All oh, right. So, listen. The scythe's metal lets whoever wields it possess people. Your doppelganger must have gotten a hold of a piece of the scythe. If you don't get it back, well, both the afterlife and the regular life could be in a whole lot of trouble. Huh. This sounds like a critical mission that could affect the fates of both realms. It is. Sure you don't want to, I don't know, help me out a little? Nah, I've got my own thing going on. Ah, but, but good luck. Little guy, you don't seem too surprised that I'm speaking to you. Oh, I'm all alone down here. I'm just happy for the company. It's fun to do activities with pals. <laughs> The whole sea to myself. Not lonely at all. Take 
here. I need it. Hey, Penny. Blessings to you, babe. Yes, this is this is Penny. Love the new look with your eyes, Penny. Total mind trip. <laughs> Penny demands the alien skeleton. Cool, man. Cool. Chill out for a bit. I'll find it. I know I left it here somewhere. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, this. This is not it! This is a fake! Harold can detect his true skeleton! Freaky skull pen! Far out! <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, the skeleton's not your bag. But, can I interest you in this Yeti hairball? Gold! Search the shop! Find the real skeleton! Right in none! We can't affect the mortal world without a body. Of course, if you wanted to give us yours, we'd be more than happy no! to- No! I'll think of something else. I need to find a way in there. Elliot worked there so he would have a key. I guess given everything else that's happened to me today, possessing my boyfriend probably won't be the weirdest thing I'll do. Brother, 
Excuse me? Je ne vous pas manger à cette panne? Non! Pas pour moi! Come again? Can you understand me? Yes! Are you an alien? Well, heck, I used to be. Now I am a ghost. Messed up my mission to protect Queen Quantabline. Got myself shot by a human for the trouble. Secret agent, as deadly as she was alluring. Until my queen is safe, I can't move on to the, uh, I, uh, what's the word in your language? The afterlife? Heaven. Valhalla. Stovacor? Nirva- The spinning maelstrom of eternal pulchritude. Yes, thank you. It was on the tip of my tongue. Can you help my queen? That's what I do. Any idea where she is? She's a hiding somewhere amongst you hairless apes. They stole our ship. Listen, Mombot, I... Intruder alert. Anti-possession protocols engage. What? I... Whoa! What are you doing? Possession virus removed. Mombot resuming normal duties. Being depressed is my full-time job now. I miss you, Penny. I can't believe you died so young. Elliot, sweetie, it's me, Penny. And yes, I technically died, but now I've kind of taken over for death in the afterlife. It's like I can still hear her voice. You are hearing my voice. I'm here, Elliot. I'm not really dead. Not all the way, anyway. I'm still here, and I still love you. And her voice is saying exactly what I want to hear. It's really me! Ah, oh, yes. She always used to say, it's really me, whenever I doubted whether or not she was really her. Holy crap, my dude. My arms, and I thought, one day I will be... I miss you, Penny. I can't believe you died so young. Elliot, sweetie, it's me, Penny. And yes, I technically died, but now I've kind of taken over for death. It's like I... You are... It's really... I... Elliot, I remember when you were but a baby in my arms, and I thought... What? Being depressed is my full-time job now, and it sucks.
greeting, citizen. It is I, Captain Hero Pants. You named yourself Hero Pants? On my planet, pants means hope. Ha! Huh, I respect your unique cultural identity. Ah, yes. Thank you, citizen. However, as you can see, my arch nemesis, Dr. Laser, managed to get the upper hand on me. It certainly looks like it. While I am certain that I will eventually return from the dead, perhaps even as four different people, one of whom is a robot, in the meantime, the world is threatened by the malicious machinations of Dr. Laser. You've got to find him. You've got to stop him. Okay, I'll do my best. But take heed, citizen. Dr. Laser has gained access to a temporal particle accelerator, which gives him the ability to travel through time itself. He can use it up to two times. Needless to say, this won't be an easy quest. I mean, they rarely are. Sad Elliot. <laughs> Got you, Doctor Laser. What's this? An ally of Captain Hero Pants? Possessing my mind and body? That's right. So, let's walk to jail, shall we? Ha! You'll find I'm not so easily manipulated. With my temporal particle accelerator, I can travel back in time. Far enough back that you'll never catch me! <laughs> Wait, what are you... Time this month, I've been sleep hacking. I really need to get this under control. Cops aren't supposed to break into computers, let alone museums with appropriately themed exhibits. Eh, sleep hacking. Why can't I have a useful affliction like sleep crime solving or sleep dressing up like a bat to strike fear into the cowardly hearts of criminals -ing, or even just sleep building a cool house so when you wake up it's in the middle of a cool house you built from scratch. Hmm, maybe psychiatric care could help. Oh gosh darn it, if only I hadn't internalized the culture of toxic masculinity around the station, wherein even seeking help is seen to be an admission of weakness and must be avoided at all costs. Guess I'll never get the help I so clearly need. <laughs> oh well. Everything seems to be in order. Hi, I'm Penny. I'm Officer Cyril Burspace. Uh, but please, call me Sai. Hey, could you hack a thing for me? No can do voice in my head. I only know how to hack while I'm sleepy. I just woke up from a real long nap. Uh, would it help if I counted sheep? 
One sheep, two sheep, three sheep, four. Well, the fact that there's now a new voice in my head speaking to me only serves to increase my alertness. Guess I'll check for crap. Take a seat. What are you struggling with? Well, this is gonna sound crazy, but whenever I fall asleep, I become an elite hacker and sleep hack through anything I can get my sleepy hands on. Oh, please. It's a perfectly normal affliction. Now, I'll just ask you some questions. How would you describe your mother? Good at sharing emotional intimacy. Unlike some people. When I look in the mirror, I feel... Good at solving crime. The best thing for a police officer to be is... Weirdly insistent on wearing swimsuits around the house. My most secret self is... Comfortable with disappointment. The trait I most like to see in a sexual partner is... Willing to dress up like a bat to fight crime. When I'm online dating... I search for people who are... Available for a limited time only. When I think of high school, I remember how everyone was... Ooh, surprisingly naked. The one thing I regret about being a teen is how I was so... Oh, willing to dress up like a robin to help someone else dressed up like a bat to fight crime. In the future, if they build a statue of me... I want that statue to be... Like a human head on a spider's body. <gasps> no. Oh, oh, like a like a spider's head on a human body. My first partner was... Into reading computer manuals. Oh, but only before bed. How would you describe your mother? When I look in the mirror, I feel... Comfortable... Matter, big guy. Oh, you know, oh, just sad. Just sad. I, I never managed to hit anyone with my spit when I was alive. Whoa, you can talk? Well, I can do anything <laughs> except hit anyone with my spit back when I was alive, apparently. Say, if I can make you alive again, do you think you could hit someone with spit? Lady, I am certain of it.
tatsächlich gar nicht. Er hatte gar keinen Attack-Move, also er hat gar keinen Attack-Stats, der ist vor uns, der nur auf alle Attacken. 